What's good with y'all, man? It's currently about six in the morning. If you've already read the title, then you probably already know what this video is about, man. I'm moving into my new school, moving back into college, this time for grad school. And if you've been tapped into my socials before, you know how much this move means to me and how big of a move this is for me. So basically you guys are just gonna be able to see as we are driving, it's gonna be me and my pops driving and it is an 11 hour drive. So that's why we are waking up so early for this cause we actually plan on stopping and staying the night along the way and then finishing the drive and getting there tomorrow. But you guys are basically just gonna be with us as we drive, as we take this journey, you know, as we go down there to Mississippi, the SIP, you know, as they call it. And um, are just kinda along the road for us. If y'all already don't know me, I usually don't like to vlog while I'm driving, but you know, we just driving anyway, ain't really too much interesting going on. But basically what I would do is just kind of update y'all on what's going on every three to four hours once we stop. So the next time we probably will stop, you know, it's another three to four hours when we stop for breakfast and stuff like that. And I'm um, just kind of update y'all what's going on, man. But we're gonna just be able to go head down there right now, start this drive, man. This long drive, 11 hours is crazy. But we're going to start this job, man, and just, you know, update y'all on the way there. So I'm excited. I hope y'all excited, man. Let's get into it, man. What's good with y'all, man? I'm back with the update. Whoa, it's a little too dark around here. Anyway. What's good with y'all? Back with the update now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, we drove like five, six hours straight. So we actually like almost there. We in Nashville right now. So we passed through Cincinnati. We went through Louisville and we went through another city. I forget. Oh no, Nashville, that's it. Nashville and so basically yeah we in Nashville right now we stopped at Cracker Barrel as you see because you know we had to eat you know just rest and all that but yeah but we went we went we went a smooth about five hours you know and I was driving the whole time so you know now once we get out of here finish our food I'm gonna be knocked out in that passenger seat you feel me so but yeah that's where we are right now man just a little update on the trip so far but that's all that's going on by the time I'll get back on here I'll probably be in Memphis at the hotel by that point. So I'll see y'all then, bro. What's good with y'all? So we're finally in Memphis. We got checked into the hotel and all that, got situated and all that. So basically, we're just here in the hotel chilling. It's kind of dope because the hotel is actually right downtown. So we right on uh, Bill Street, you know, so we can see downtown and we're in like a dope area of town. So that's pretty cool. So basically what we plan on doing now is that when I told some people that I was gonna come into Memphis, I kept hearing you gotta try Gus's chicken, Gus's chicken, Gus's chicken. You know, and if you're from Memphis or the South, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know me, I'm from Ohio. I have no idea what Gus's chicken is, but it must be good because y'all keep mentioning it. So we gonna try that tonight. We probably gonna walk on Beale Street too. It is Friday night, so there's probably a decent amount of stuff going down over there. And then we just gonna walk around, try the chicken, of course. I'm gonna let y'all know, give y'all a review what I think about that honest opinion. And we gonna go from there. So I'll let y'all know and y'all will see when we do that. back in the room now man it's the first look right here okay. Sheesh. yes sir yes sir ah, hey. first taste man man this a 
thing right here. It's good right there. It's real good. It got like a little like spice to it or something, mm -hmm. I think. You try the uh, rice yet? Mm -hmm. How you think? I like that, like that. Rice not bad. It's not, I it's very flaky. Mm -hmm. This is good. We need to keep an eye on It's almost like they, they add some type of Tabasco. Mm -hmm. or something to it. To the rice? To the, both of them have a little cake to it. What's good with y'all? Day two, it's currently about 7 a.m. We finna head to the car, eat breakfast real quick, and then we headed on to Mississippi. So, we just wanna make sure we got up early, got up at it. But right now, we just putting stuff in the car, getting ready to go. I'll update y'all when we get there. Life terms in prison. back to the room right now man this is what it's looking like this is only for the summer so don't sure don't think i'm like living here the whole year it's just only for like three weeks but yeah you got like a sink in the room i ain't never had that before but it's cool it's the bed obviously got the stuff we still need to unpack and all that but yeah bathroom over there but yeah man it's what it's looking like right here It ain't nothing when your parents buy it. When your parents got that card, you ain't gotta worry about it. See, now if it's me, I'm not even coming to Sam's Club. Straight to Walmart. Yo, what's good with y'all, man? Look, we had a crazy day today, as y'all can see. Uh, we basically went on a little grocery haul. My dad is actually gone now, so it's just me in the crib. I actually moved in a day earlier, so my teammates and my roommates will not be coming here till tomorrow. So while we have the time alone, I was thinking since we went on a little grocery haul, y'all can actually see the type of food and the type of stuff I get and eat as a college athlete. So we gonna start with that. So of course, we first got our water right here. I got two of those right here, gotta have that. And see, well we got a lot, we got a lot of snacks. So if you don't tap in with the Nature Valley sweet and salty peanut butter granola bars, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Fire. And speaking of fire, bro, speaking of fire, these right here, these right here, 
Bro, I swear, I don't know what they put in these, but it gotta be cracked. Delvita breakfast, hey, if you know, you know. Cinnamon brown sugar flavor too. If you know, you know. I swear to you, they put crack in these. Like, I can't stop eating these, but definitely good little snack. Definitely gotta tap in with just our regular granola. You know what I'm saying? Eat that, you know, straight out the bin. Mess with this a lot. And then cheese its I don't care what y'all say, whether these are good for you or not. I'ma eat them all day, every day. So definitely had to get cheese its Moving on, we got our Rice Krispie Treats. I got about like three or four of these, but Rice Krispie Treats, man. Quaker granola bars, you already know what it is, man. That's, this is really like a, a staple. If you don't got this, you don't know what you're doing, bro. You gotta get these. Had to get me some Cheerios, you feel me? Cheerios, you feel me? I'm starting or trying not to eat like a lot of sugar filled cereal now, so this is the best I could do. I had to rock with my little gummy vitamins, you feel me? I don't care what y'all say, these might still be for kids. They still are the best tasting gut vitamins on the market. I'm gonna rock with them till the day I die. Till I die! We got our peanut butter toasted crackers. And we got our, you know, red seedless grapes. Or any grapes, just get you some grapes. Fruit snacks, Welch's best brand. If you get, my, look, if you eat Mott's fruit snacks, who are you? You're nasty. Welch's. Then we got our protein shakes we got. I got about two of these. Uh, I usually go with Core Power, but they didn't have them in the store, so we just had to get these. But, you know, it's cool, does the job. Hey, this is the ultimate if you know you know type of snack, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I really think they put crack in these, okay? They really put crack in these. I would eat sleeves at a time, Ritz crackers. But, had to get me some Ritz crackers. Definitely will be eating these. And I know I said I wasn't gonna eat any like sugar filled cereal, but you know, I gotta treat myself one time or another. So, got me some Lucky Charms as well. And then, here, I got me this Fairlife lactose free milk. Uh, if y'all know me, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm pretty sure everybody lactose intolerant at this point, but you know, I can't drink like regular milk or I'm gonna be on the toilet. So, I recently found this milk. Fair life and it's like got no lactose lactose free so this is what I usually drink with like my cereal um, all that type of stuff and if I want to drink regular milk I'll just drink like soy milk vanilla soy milk um, I didn't buy that this time but for this for my cereal I get this so as y'all can see that's kind of just what I be eating all the time and stuff like that all that so I mean I don't know I don't think I eat too healthy but I mean I don't eat bad, you know, just get you a few granola bars, just a bunch of snacks with protein and all that, you know, and you'll be all right. I also need to give y'all a tour of the room and the place real quick. So basically we finna go into my room now. Y'all saw how it was when I first started. So, you know, I'm kind of moved in now. Not all the way, but you know, that's kind of like my little, you know, room right here. Keep in mind that this is only for like three weeks until I move into my apartment. So I'm kind of just, you know, making sure that I got everything in place but like you know and then this is what the rest of the apartment looks like I mentioned before that I'm gonna have three other roommates so here are the three other rooms right here and then you come out into the living room this is where all my snacks in the kitchen and all that the living room is right here and then what's pretty cool about this place is it actually got a balcony too and y'all didn't see but it was raining crazy out here just not too long ago but now it's cool. So as y'all can see, that's kind of what my living situation looks right now. Um, it's definitely been an adjustment moving to like a different part of the country, you know, a different school in general. And if you've been through this and if you've been through the transfer portal, you already know what I'm talking about, man. Like just adjusting to the new school, the new lifestyle, the new setting, the new environment. I mean, it can be really tough, but I do appreciate all the love and support I've gotten from y'all. In the comments you know everything from youtube to TikTok to instagram and everything like that so like i always say more videos more content will be on the way more day in the lives about what i'm doing in my day-to-day -day life will be on the way and if y'all want to tap in more into that go follow my TikTok at justin F. bear so you can get kind of more day-to-day -day updates about what i'm doing opposed to just the youtube where i just kind of make these like full-length vlogs but if y'all already been tapped into my other socials, you know kind of how much of a big move this is for me. So I appreciate y'all love and support. I appreciate y'all watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with a friend. Do all that. You feel me? 
and I appreciate y'all once again. More videos, more content will be on the way. Of course, rock with the brands, Johnson & Scott, Mixed Emotions, LSB Athletics, my code Justin Ego, save you some money. More videos, more content will be on the way. As always, if you here at this point, you a real one. And the word we gonna use today, shoe. We gonna use cross country Justin. If you here at this point in the video, comment cross country Justin, cause we moving from Ohio to the SIP. We in the SIP now, that's crazy. So we in the SIP now, you feel me? New starts, new beginnings, and I appreciate y'all being part of this journey, witnessing it with me coming along with me as always more videos more content will be on the way i appreciate y'all i feel like i've said that like 10 times already so i'm gonna just end the video i'll see you on the next one